Hey there YouTubers, here comes a look at the next campground on this little voyage of ours. Um, Muskelong State Park and beautiful Upper Peninsula still. And it wasn't a long distance, but it was a tough drive on bad roads. But as you get in closer, that's the lake and that's Lake Superior. And there's the campground. Nice campground. Let's show you some. About a mile or two away is Deer Park Lodge and General Store. It's the only place you're going to buy stuff. It might be a little expensive, but hey, I make these much cheaper. And let's get to Muskelong. Muskelange. Must, there's many different ways people pronounce it. Here's a map of the very large campground. The three on the right are in the woods and they're the nicer sites. But overall, the campground is pretty... It's a huge campground with lots of spots. But the the bigger loops are really packed in there so this is what you get sometimes when you want electricity we just did one night to recharge batteries and take showers and stuff like that it's a good campground it's huge but the sites are small this is Lake Muskelong behind us is Lake Superior it's a small lake been here before I think I showed you in fall didn't stay here we're staying here I'll include a link to the old video. So that's campsite 137. This is the wooded section. We had hoped to get in here, but they are all full. But I'll just take a couple pictures of random spots. 134 would be a primo site right on the water right there. That's nice. So as I keep saying, if you get there and get the wooded sections, the three loops to the right on the map, the wooded sections are very nice with some privacy, bigger spaces, but the other loops are just, you're packed in there. So try to make reservations if you want to come to this campground because it's a very nice area. You have the small lake, then you can go across to Lake Superior, which I'll end up showing you in this video in a little bit. Good fishing lake. Sorry, this is blurry, but you can walk out on the dock and take a look. Maybe when you do it on your own, which you definitely should, it won't be as blurry as this video is right here. Pretty flowers. Now we're going to leave the campground area and go to Lake Superior. All right, more of my favorite North Country Trail. Probably have done, maybe we'll say a mile just to be nice. We're going to walk down here to Lake Superior. Hit pause and read this, it's worth the read. And the trail is short to the lake. See why I'm on about this lake being beautiful? Chilly on Lake Superior today. If you're into collecting rocks, this is a real good place to do it. Still got tons to look at and see if we found anything special. All right, this is the day use area. The campground's straight right there. They got stuff for the kids, swing sets, baby prison it looks like in front of us. Maybe dog prison, but maybe baby prison. I really don't know what this game is, but I guess you could play it and the kids can enjoy the swings. And they do sled dog races from here, obviously in the winter. Also, there is a dump station, obviously. And the, again, a relatively nice campground. RV cat. Now it's time to eat. These are some processed fake chicken things. Something's going in the nucleator. And I had a double chicken sandwich, some rice, some broccoli, and some nuggets that were pretty good. 
Now, some people hate these fire pits, but they don't bother me. They work fine. And again, I always say a campground is a great place to go RV shopping. If you see something you like, talk to people. They'll tell you what's good and what's bad. Great showers at Michigan State campgrounds. Nice beaches. Packed in there again. Not for everybody, but for a day it works. There's a second shower house. Flush toilets and all that good stuff. And showers. Very good showers. I took, I think, three showers in a day. Good water pressure, hot. Happy vans connected to power for a day. Again, the sights on the right are the best. Good morning. You are fishing already. This trip was later in June, in the middle of the week, and it was pretty much full, so we all know that it's getting difficult to get campsites. Pretty flowers here. At first I thought that was a slug on there, but it ends up that this poppy had just opened and that's part of the pod that protects them until they open. So this campground is what it is. That doesn't make it bad, it just makes it what it is. This was a huge... Uh, truck camper we saw with a deck on the back but I suggest checking this place out use it for a few days however you need it and here's some things you can read and hopefully you'll have a great and wonderful day especially if you visit this wonderful Michigan campground